What are these stripes you see all over town? It is a process called anti-icing. This is done when putting a solution of water and salt on the road ahead of the forecasted weather. The water has a 23.3% dilution of salt. This combination of water and salt is called brine. After spraying the brine on the road, the water evaporates leaving just the salt on the road. We produce our own brine in-house. It's kind of like the water softener in the basement of your old house. We pour salt into the hopper and push water through it and then it flows into the second hopper where it is mixed with straight water until we get the correct 23.3% salinity that it is called for. From there we pump it through a series of hoses and valves into our storage tanks until it is needed. Let's get back to where all the lines come from. At St. Louis Park, we are always monitoring the weather. We use multiple resources for forecasts, including the National Weather Service. When the conditions are right, we will pretreat the roads. Salt brine can be applied when the pavement temp is as low as 20 degrees. Even if the air temperature is at 10 degrees, the pavement temperature could be at 20 degrees, and this would allow us to pretreat the roads. This is very important to monitor as applying brine to the road in the wrong weather conditions could actually make the roads worse. We currently have a route that is just over 65 lane miles long. It takes an average of 2,000 to 2,500 gallons to cover it all. We typically spray 30 gallons per lane mile, but this is adjusted as each weather event is unique. The truck can hold 1,000 gallons of brine and is equipped with three spray bars. One is for the center lane, and one is for the left, and one is for the right turn lanes. This allows the driver to spray turn lanes as he passes by, assuming there are no cars in the lane. This speeds up the process by making fewer trips down each road. By pre-treating the road with salt brine, we accomplish a number of things. First, we can put down a product before the event, and that would give us the advantage. Second, it prevents the bond of snowpack to the pavement, making it easier for the plows to plow it off the road. Third, sometimes during the morning, bridge decks can get a layer of frost or ice. Anti-icing prior to the event would help prevent this. Also, during an event, we use less salt on the road because we pre-treated it prior to the event. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps you understand where the little white lines on the road come from and why they are there. Thank you.